Nice. And then the magic happens. Let's say you're in the closet and then your girlfriend comes in. <laughs> you, you think she doesn't know? <laughs> you can still wear it like that. Great. A bit more, a bit more subtle, let's say. Very nice. That's one example. And also I think the um, reflection on tailoring was really to show all the work that is put through a jacket because it's insane. And of course, being in London, I was always very moved by the tailoring history and experience. So I had one jacket made at Huntsman, which is by far one of the most interesting tailors on Savile Row. And I did something that the Savile Row tailor wouldn't like very much, but I will show you. I like it. Okay. So I stripped it entirely of the whole hair and of all the work. And then the same thing, you can wear it on the other side. I can, shall I model it again? I love it when designers model things. Okay. Mm. So, of course, so this is the first collection? Yes, yeah, yeah, it's the Great. first love I did. Um, and it's sort of, it doesn't have a theme, it's a growing corpus uh, uh -huh. with things that, that excite me and that I resonate with. And the idea is it's always upcycling. Yes. Yeah. I prefer the word retailoring. Retailing. Because upcycling sounds like you yeah. put a light bulb on a skateboard and it's not really what I do. So retailoring. No. Okay, retailing. Look like this or... No. <laughs> Fits very well. Yeah. They know. And it's interesting, I think, to have a flu aspect on something tailored, you know? Yeah. I it's like a bit that. the idea of... It's what Armani did in the 90s in a way, but in a more fitted way, in a less sloppy way. I wouldn't compare myself to him, but of course... Why not? Inspiration traveled around, no? Eh? Well, I mean, he's, he's iconic. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, how many good. years existing? Sorry? 50? How many years is Armani? 50 years? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that's the other part. You can, you know, if you're really dramatic and bitchy, <laughs> <laughs> or, or hit people also when they're too close. You know, we're yeah. not, we're on the respect the distance. <laughs> yeah, this is not one meter fifty, but it it gives the mood. You have to make it one meter fifty. Yes, <laughs> I have the things that I want me to. Can you try on this end piece? The yellow one. Yeah. So this one is quite funny. I did it at St. Martin's actually for my final collection. And you can so what year did you graduate? I don't know. You didn't graduate. I did, but I don't know what year I graduated. Okay. I don't know. I mean, a couple years ago? Or? It was like maybe 10 years ago. Oh, okay. A bit less, I guess. All right, because you went immediately to Chanel for yeah, four yeah, yeah. years. I took a break for four years and then I came back for the last year. That's why it's all a bit... Um, Great. Yeah, what did you do during the break? Ah, when I well, the break was working at Chanel. That was okay. the break. <laughs> so I worked with Carl, and it was really great. So that's the jacket. You can decide to put the, sh the sleeve that got bitten by a dog, or right. just to wear it like this. And that's the reverse of a coupe, coupe, sorry, that I had made in Canepa in Italy, and I used it on the reverse, so it sort of looks like an embroidery, and it's all hand painted. Beautiful. I love it. Oh. It's great. So if somebody wants to buy an individual piece, how do they contact you? They can contact me through my Instagram or through my sales agent. And I what exactly is the Instagram? It's underscore L M L Studio. L M and underscore again, but that'll come naturally, hopefully. And L M L is just my name. It's Lucas Mayer Leclerc. Great. Is there anything else you want to show me? A few shirts, maybe? A few shirts? Yeah. Yeah, of course. I was just asked to um, 